Hey everyone, this is Ken Michaels, and I want to show you how to use our latest utility, which is CSV Ripper. CSV Ripper was created for our SniperBot Pro users because we gave them our personal business database as a bonus. And this database had about 10 million U.S. business records. Some of the CSV files were so large that it would take, you know, maybe a couple hours if you put them in Excel or if you put them in any other spreadsheet app to filter through and get out the records that you might want to, you know, isolate or work with at that moment. So we wanted to create an app that was extremely easy to use and extremely fast that our users could use to filter out the CSV files and get only the records or the leads that they wanted to work with at that time. But CSV Ripper has so many different uses. It really just depends on you know what data you might have in your CSV file or how you want to use that data that we just decided to go ahead and give it to our private list and other Warrior Forum members. We run an offline marketing company so we work with business to business leads but again you can really use this for absolutely you know any business or any CSV file if you have a database that has a lot of records that you can put in CSV format this is going to save you a ton of time if you need to filter those uh, those records. Let me show you how we use it uh, here in our office. The first thing you want to do is click on options. Then go down to field test. Right here is where you want to enter one line from your CSV file. Once you have that entered, click show fields and that's going to bring up a little browser so you can see all the fields in your CSV file. Or you can do this automatically by clicking open, selecting the CSV file you want to work with, let me bring this into view here and you'll see the browser here with all the fields in that CSV file. Now we can filter that by line which will just basically take your filter word and look across the whole line or across that record and try to find a match to your filter word. Or you can filter by field which we'll do here in this example which will just look at each individual field and try to find a match or that specific field that you enter and try to find a match. Now the file that we're going to work with right now is a large uh, CSV file. It's all the businesses in Ohio. There's about 420 some thousand records. And like I said it's a it's a list of businesses in Ohio and I really don't want to contact all the businesses in Ohio in this case. So I just want to look for businesses that are in Columbus say. The first thing we're going to do is find then our city tag or our city field. And in this example it's field 2. We can see right here field 2 is our city field. So we're going to enter 2. And then for our filter word we're going to do, we're going to type in Columbus. Then we're going to select our input file which is CSV file we want to work with. And then choose our output file. I'm just going to add an extension of 1 make it easy and then click start we'll see right here the number of records that we have in our CSV file which is 423,000 now over here you can see where at on the list you are as well as the bottom number shows you how many records have matched your criteria your filter criteria and right now we're up to 30, 30 some thousand we can also, with CSV Ripper, filter by the greater than or the less than symbol. Now, if we sort by greater than, CSV Ripper is going to look through that CSV file or in, in those records or that field and try to find in that field any type of information. So if it has any data at all in that field, that's going to be considered a match. If you use the less than sign, when CS3 Ripper goes and checks, it's going to look for a field that's empty. Okay, now that we're done here, you can see it's extremely fast. We just whizzed through 423,000 records. Um, we found 30,000 matches. Usually to do between 400,000 to 500,000 records, it takes about a minute. So you could throw millions of records at this thing and in a matter of minutes it will just you know zoom through them find exactly what you're you're looking for so 
you can filter multiple levels deep. Now, I'll show you an example of the greater than symbol here. Now that we have businesses in Columbus, let's say I only want to contact businesses where I know the first or last name because I want to send a personalized mailer or send a personalized email or maybe make a phone call to some of these businesses. So I'm going to look at our field here and we can see field 15 contains the last name. So I'm going to put in 16 or 15, sorry, and then in the filter phrase or filter word, we're going to use the greater than sign. We don't have to re-put in our input or output files. All we have to do is click right here where it says swap. You'll see this indicator down here. It shows the last input file we used and we click start. Now that's going to just take that list of 30,000 that we already isolated and just check those for our new filter which is anything or, or any record that has a contact name. See, we just go through that in a matter of seconds. We have 21,000 uh, matches now that meet both criteria. But let's say, in our example, I only want to contact businesses that have an owner as the uh, contact name. And for our database file, we can see field 17 is the contact title field. So we'll put in owner. Again, we'll just hit swap, and then we'll hit start. Now, we also, with our database, have field 22, which is the estimated annual sales volume. So we're going to do this one more time. And like I said, you can go 100 levels deep. You can go 1,000 levels deep filtering. It really doesn't matter. Um, it can handle, however many filters you want to run. We'll just type in field 22, and we're looking for small businesses. So we're only going to contact businesses that have an annual sales volume of less than 500000 a year. We'll hit swap. We'll hit start. And now what we're left with is 4,840 records that meet all of our criteria. And I'll show you that, that folder here. Each file, we can see all of our filters have been saved in the separate files. So if you wanted to go back to a previous filter that you ran, you can easily do that. This will be the last filter that we ran. And we'll just open that up real quick in Notepad. We can, I mean, uh, TextPad, we can see here it's ready to go. All you have to do is throw that thing into uh, Excel or any other spreadsheet. It's ready for you to work with. For our SniperBot Pro users, I'll just run through a real quick import. Um, this is SniperBot Pro here. All you have to do is right click, hit import. We can import from any scraper or CSV file. We already matched up our, our records, so we'll just click open, select that file. And here in just a few seconds, you'll see how fast it just imports all the, all the leads now that we have to work with. Okay, now that that's pretty much done, once we have the leads in, you know, we have all the basic information, but, you know, if you're a sniper by pros user, you know, that doesn't necessarily qualify as a lead. We, we want additional information. I mean, we have the contact name and everything here, but let's go ahead. We're going to right click on our advanced start button, and we're going to go ahead and check and see if these places have a Google Places page, see if they're verified. We can look over here at this column here and we'll see we're getting all the Google information now coming through we're finding out they have a Google Places page or if the page is verified you see these numbers here we can spread that out a little bit and that gives you all the review information um, we're capturing an email address if that's listed we also if we scroll over here we're getting all the uh, missing domain information we can actually take out the phone number and if the phone number is listed on Google Places it will give us the updated phone number. I'm going to go ahead and stop that and let's just check uh, Bing real quick. Let's do just a real quick Bing search. We can also check backlinks, see if they have a uh, yellow book hosted website. I mean there's a bunch of different checks that we can do with this. I'm 
not going to run through them all for the SniperBot Pro users. They, you know, have all the videos and stuff. Just watch the videos that are on the uh, on the page, or get with me on the forums, or Skype. That CSV Ripper, it's extremely easy to use, and that's how you make it work with SniperBot Pro. But if you don't have SniperBot Pro, you can still use that data. Just put it in Excel. Um, work with it however you want. Hope you enjoy the software. Let us know how it works out for you.